first time I see Joe Kawasaki was obviously in the amateurs. Um, he won two ABA titles. Um, I seen him win two ABA titles and I was very impressed with him. And I wanted to sign him, but at the time I was told he'd already done a deal with Mickey Duff, so I was a bit slow out of, out of blocks for it. Um, but he tells me, uh, he told me years later that he hadn't done the deal at that time. Um, consequently, he turned professional, and I just thought he was, uh, I thought he was a little bit special. And from my point of view, I just didn't feel that he was being promoted enough. Um, and I put a deal to the, uh, the to, to the uh, his management about putting, uh, you know, whether they were interested in me promoting him, and they knocked it back, and they didn't even call it to Joe, didn't discuss it with him. Consequently, I think Joe fired them and uh, made a complaint to the Boxing Board of Control. The Board of Control heard the complaint and they voided his contract with them. And he then uh, was, became managed and promoted by me. He saw his first professional fight the night that Frank Bruno fought Len Lennox Lewis at the old Cardiff Arms Park. And he was one of the first on the bill that night and so there was nobody in the arena at all. And of course I've watched him ever since and seen him progress into becoming one of the uh, great fighters in the world today. Uh, Joe became the mandatory contender to Steve Collins, who at that time was pretty high. He'd beaten uh, Nigel Benn twice, he'd beaten Eubanks twice. He was the guy that, you know, he was, he was beating them all. Um, Steve then, we made the fight, and then Steve retired. And we had to make a fight at very short notice for him. And uh, the fight we made at short notice was against Chris Eubanks. And Eubanks was a, you know, was a big step up for Joe at that stage of the game. And I remember Terry Lawless or Mickey Duff, one of them, had rang the ball and tried to stop the fight from going ahead saying it was a bad match and he was being rushed. Which I didn't feel was the case. Um, certainly if he was good enough to fight Steve Collins, he was certainly good enough to fight Chris, Chris Eubanks. And, and, I, and I genuinely felt that um, Joe would have beaten Steve Collins. Maybe Steve fought the same thing, I don't know. But we made the, say, made the Eubank fight and, uh, and that, that was a, a cracking fight. I mean, a tremendous fight. His moment had come, and Joe Calzaghe cut a confident figure as he made his dramatic entrance to the ring. Lots been made of this young man. He's been spoken of one of the brightest young talents, one of the brightest emerging talents in British boxing. Eubank straight away onto the offensive. Calzaghe going looking for Eubank. Just those two defeats that Eubank's experienced in his career. Oh, and he's down! Left hand's caught him, and Eubank knows now that Calzaghe can punch. There's a smile on his face, but he was caught cold. And look again at that left hand. Well, there was no smiling as Eubank hit the canvas. Almost lifted off his feet. More good work from Calzaghe. Eubank trying to match fire with fire, but the weight of punch is with Calzaghe. He takes a good uppercut there from Eubank. But Calzaghe is forcing the pace. Eubank landed some terrific body shots. Calzaghe again will not be denied, he bullies Eubank back. Good left hand again from Calzaghe and Eubank absorbs it and a fierce uppercut. How much more has Eubank got left here in this ninth round? This is a big round for Calzaghe. in the final round terrific shot from Calzaghe and Eubank doesn't like it but he's getting the standing count the crowd don't like it Eubank certainly thought that he shouldn't have been counted there but he took that left hand and did he just touch down with the right glove I think he did well closing seconds of the 12th round and what a performance this has been from Joe Calzaghe Big uppercut from Eubank in the closing seconds, but Calzaghe, the pride of Wales, surely, although Eubank raises his glove, surely Calzaghe is going to get this title.
The crowd are on their feet and a new star of British boxing has been born tonight. A huge crowd in Sheffield has witnessed this. But really he bossed that fight pretty much all the way through. For the winner who is now WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Joe Calzaghe! Calzaghe had pulled it off in style and had arrived on the world stage with a bang. That night he came of age, if you like, as a fighter because he boxed beautifully and Eubank, even though maybe he was past his best, he was still a formid formidable champion. And when he won the title from Eubank, then he thought, we've got something here. And when he beat Eubanks, I mean, that was a tremendous performance beating Eubanks. I mean, he had Eubanks down in the first round and he got caught in the last round with a tremendous punch by Eubanks. And he, you know, and that's the one thing about Joe Kelsey, he had a good chin.